What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Sam Carpenter and her new drama she's dealing with in Scream 6 and why this drama somehow has managed to give more importance to why the killers are wearing ghost face costumes once again. And what do I mean by that? I've, I've seen a few times throughout my life when it relates to the Scream franchise, an argument related to why does every killer choose this costume? For one, they don't have to. Secondly, there's really, again, no reason calling for them to wear the costume. But yet now in Scream 6, I feel as though what they want to do with Sam is allowing that argument to no longer be necessary which i like that's a nice small detail i've just noticed i want to address in this video you can chime in in the comment sections down below to let me know your thoughts on it so getting into what i mean we know billy and Stu don the ghost face mask for the first time as it pertains to just the movies i'm strictly talking about the movies the movies they were the first people to don that costume in scream 2 you had your first copycat killer okay that's that's fine and of course it was connected to billy directly since we find out it was billy's mother now in scream 3 roman wanted to frame sydney for snapping because she found out what john milton did to her mother there was really no reason for her to don the ghost face costume and then in scream 4 theoretically you could remake the Woodsboro Massacres without donning the Ghostface costume. You could. <laughs> so Jill and Charlie, you could argue, didn't need to wear that. And then also with Scream 5, you could argue that maybe Sam and or that Amber and Richie could have created a new costume instead of donning the Ghostface costume once again. Now, of course, we all know why that costume is reused because it's iconic and it's a staple of the franchise. But in theory, they don't have to keep reusing that costume. But now in Scream 6, if Sam is dealing with a wild theory that she is the one responsible for the events of Stab 5, or I meant to say Scream 5, and that people actively believe that Richie and Amber were innocent, if that's what she's dealing with, that lends more, more reasoning behind why the killers in 6 are wearing the Ghostface costume. Because to me, how could you not wear that costume now? If you're, out, if you're let's say, going out of your way to prove that she was the one responsible for the events of 5, the killers in five wore that costume. Thus, you would need to wear that costume to prove that she was the one wearing the costume in five. She's the one wearing the costume now. She's also the one who's probably been going around uh, taking the past killer robes. She snapped. She actually did snap because of her father finding out those details about her father cracked her and she's going through a whole mental breakdown. That could be the whole thing they're trying to prove to be true. Amber and Richie were innocent. So with that in mind, and considering that Amber and Richie actually wore the Ghostface costume in five, that gives reason as to why Sam needs to be taunted by someone wearing it in six. Because they're trying to prove that it wasn't Amber and Richie in the costume in five. It was her. I like that angle because, again, it adds weight and it gives reason to why these people are wearing the costume now. I've seen over the years, again, so many times where people were like, oh, Roman didn't need to wear that costume. Jill didn't need to wear that costume. You know, there's constantly seeing the idea that the costume isn't always necessary. In Scream 6, I'm going to argue that the costume seems to be very necessary. If it plays out like that, where you again have people working to prove a conspiracy about Sam to be true, because they might be from the Stab subreddit or something like that, where they are stab fanatics just like amber and richie they want to continue the work that they started because they too want a proper stab film you need that costume because if you're going to prove that it wasn't amber and richie in that costume and that it was actually sam you need to don it you need to go on your own killing spree you need to somehow work your way into framing it on sam for not only what happened in five but also right now too thus like i said the costume has more meaning. The reason it's being worn has a lot more meaning than any of the previous sequels thus far. I would say it has more meaning since the first movie. 
that's my honest take on it. I think this costume in this upcoming movie has more meaning and purpose to the story than ever before, given the context of what Sam is dealing with. This is coming from Viewer Anon, though, because, you know, Viewer Anon put out that tweet saying that Sam is dealing with a nasty rumor that she was the one responsible for the killings in Screen 5 and that Amber and Richie were innocent. So given the fact that Amber and Richie decided to wear the Ghostface costume once again, if the killers in 6 are actively working to prove that theory to be true, they need to wear that costume. They need to wear that costume. So that way it would, in their mindset, reinforce that Amber and Richie were not the ones wearing it in five. It was Sam. And also the fact that you have costumes that are, we know we also saw that image that Viranon gave context to of the leaked image and what the, what the characters, the survivors are looking at. Kirby was present. Uh, General Ortega's character, Tara was present. Mindy, Chad were present. Uh, some newbies were present. Dermot Maroney's character was present. I think I saw Ethan in the background too. So that image there of what they're looking at, V. Renan said that they were looking at this image of ghost face robes that are just hanging, but the mask are missing. So if someone's also going around stealing evidence, that also needs to be pinned on Sam as well. Because if these new killers are actively going around stealing evidence, they're going to need to pin that on Sam, I would imagine. So I just like this whole this whole concept and why or how it's going to give more importance to why the costume is being utilized once more in Scream 6 because I feel as though that argument that I see online that it wasn't necessary to be reused in each sequel I see where you're coming from but I also like how in Scream 6 even though nobody has really touched on this in the interview recently the costume has more than enough reasons to be present in this upcoming movie because if Sam is dealing with somebody trying to prove that she was the killer in five, they're going to probably need to don that costume once again, bring it back, taunt her with it and reinforce to the general public that their ideas about Sam are true. She was the one in that costume in five and she's the one in the costume right now because she snapped after she found out that her father was a killer. So I just like that angle that they're going with and how it could inflate the importance and the significance of the costume returning once more. When in the past, you could argue that none of them needed to use it. Mrs. Loomis didn't need to use it. Roman didn't need to use it. Jill and Charlie didn't need to use it. But there's something going on with Sam that seems to make it very necessary to reuse it in Scream 6. I like that. Let me know what y'all think about all of it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and this video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.